hi you guys we are back again with another tutorial today i'll be showing you how i did this gorgeous razor cut quick weave wig it is removable so go ahead and get ready i'm going to be giving you all the details just before we get started make sure that you like comment share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get all of my notifications first of course i'll be using my make your own wig dome cap so I'm using a 22 inch canvas block. I'm using a pink one because I figured that you guys could see it better. And to protect it, I will be covering it with my plastic shower cap. So like I tell you guys in my other previous video, I like to use those guidelines going straight down the middle so that I can line it up correctly whenever I'm making this unit. And I use this so that it helps me know where I am placing the tracks so that I know where the nose is supposed to be because it's a blank canvas you have to make sure that you are doing everything accurately for this look I will be using hair that I already have around the salon but I will link in the description box the hair that you will need to complete this look so I'm, I'll be using the Indian Tower 27 piece and you will need a 10 inch empire and a 12 inch empire for this so what i'm going to do is of course y'all know i like to stretch my tracks so i'm stretching them so that i can space them out enough so that it lays flat when you get on the side you are going to lay those tracks facing the face and also in this area you want to kind of keep the tracks lower because this is where your sideburns will be so keep that in mind whenever you are laying your tracks down because ultimately you do not want the hair to be too short for the sideburns you want it to be long enough so that you can cut it i always say you know more hair is better but if you don't have enough i mean it's not like you can't change it or add anything but just go ahead and lay it down how it's supposed to be so that you don't have to worry about going back so now that you have made your guide for the front you are now going to turn it to the other side so because it's going to be long on one side you want to go ahead and section it off so that you can see and i'm doing this as a guide to show you guys so I just take the glue, make a guideline because you don't want to lay those short tracks anything past that because that area is for your longer pieces. Forget that if you are not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you see all of my notifications first. If you're still tuned into this video, as a special thank you, I will be giving all of you a special $10 off coupon to shop on my website. You can go to www.feliciaslater.com. Stay tuned. At the end of the video, I will be giving you the coupon code.
right now I'm going to comb out the hair I do this because sometimes you may get glue on the ends of the hair so make sure that you comb it out really really good this is going to help everything lay down in place whenever you go in to razor cut it and of course you already know I like to use my single blade razor I do take the guard off and as I tell you guys all the time don't do this if you're not experienced but I rather if you want to practice using it this way do it on a mannequin before you try it on a client because you can cut someone or cut yourself so make sure that you practice this method on a mannequin first and I like to use it like this because it shades it down really really close and I have more control of the razor whenever I do this and if you cannot find this razor you can email me um, and let me know that you need one because I do sell these as well because it's really, really hard to find these in store. I'm going to go in and cut these layers into this section of the hair I like to do this because it gives it a custom look but you are going to want to cut those ends off and even everything up all I'm doing is pulling it out at a 90 degree and cutting it off I am using a pair of my signature shears I am offering these on my website so if you want to get the set it's um, the thinnest shears and the regular shears they're custom in their signature and they cut really very very nice they're about um five inches long so they they fit really really snug in your hand but yeah if you want to purchase them head over to my website and grab yours and this is how it looks and i'm going to use my y tooth comb to comb this out as you can see everything is layered very very nicely everything is in place and what I like about doing it this way the body stays in it the entire time now I'm going to start off with my 12 inch normally I try to use an entire pack of 12 inch on the side so that it flows nicely and I know people may say you know that's a lot of hair but it's not the fact that you're putting in a lot of hair or it's too bulky is your layers come out a lot better whenever you have enough hair if you thin it out enough it won't look like a lot of hair and I am doubling my tracks because this is a small section you will have to lay those tracks very close together you may have to double them you know as, as far as you go up but your ultimate goal is to make sure that you have enough hair so that your layers will flow So this is how I'm doubling the tracks. I wanted to kind of slow it up to show you guys. So whenever you are doing this method, because you're using a dome cap, you want to make sure that you put enough glue on the, on the tracks because it can come up or you know you don't want the tracks to come loose. I've been, been doing this method for a long time and I've been able to wash my wigs you know everything of that nature in the tracks don't come loose so make sure that you use enough glue so that it doesn't come apart i'm going to begin laying down my 10 inch tracks i like to use the 10 inch in the top because whenever you're getting this hair for anyone who doesn't know the 12 inch is always thinner so the longer the hair the thinner the hair the 10 inch is always thick so I always try to use it in the top because you won't have to go in and put in a whole lot of tracks and honestly it's more budget friendly for your client as well. There is no need in you know allowing your client to get 12 inch hair for the top because it's only going to be cut. So 
So you will go ahead and continue laying down your tracks. As you can see, the pattern that I'm going is in a U shape because you want to track it all the way down till you get a little circle so that you could close it, so that you can close it in. But on this one, I will be doing the invisible part method for the closure because I do not have a pre-made closure. I like pre-made closures and it gives it a different look, but I'm going to do the invisible um, closure method just to show you guys another way that you can do it. So I'm going to change the angle so that you guys can see better. This is how it will look if it was a client or if you're working from the back. All I did was turn it around so that you guys can get a better view. So just to clear everything up, I do offer this unit to my clients, but I do require my clients to come in and have this done on their head. And the reason I do that is because I do not want to go through the trouble of making a unit, wasting hair, and the unit doesn't fit the client. Then you have further issues. They have to ship it back to you. You know, everything like that. So I do require that if you want this unit or if you're offering this to your clients as a service, you can just let them know, you know, if you plan, if you feel like you can customize this unit for them, just be mindful that every client do not know how to measure their head properly. So just keep that in mind. So if you have not done the invisible part before, you're going to be cutting the hair off of the track. I'm going to be using black glue for this. And all you're going to do is just run that hair through the glue. Don't use too much because it will bleed through. So just use just enough and coat it down. You can use lace glue, but if you use lace glue, you're going to put it directly on the tracks and then lay the hair down after you put the glue down. So just take your time and do this and try not to be too messy. I, you, I do it in bits and pieces. That way I can keep it neat. Now you're going to make sure that you blow dry the hair. Do not be alarmed if hair is coming up. Remember, you cut the hair off of the track, the hair is loose. So whatever hair comes up, let it come up. If you see any gaps, you can always go in and fill it in. But whenever you comb it, comb it thoroughly because that's the hair that's going to be coming out. If you secured it down good enough, it will not move at all. Now I'm going to go in with my Chi Magnifying Spray and I will link the products that I'm using in the description box and all of the products that I use on the regular basis when I'm styling here, doing here, all of that will be in the description box. But you're going to spray it down and then you're going to take the back of your comb and press it down in place. This is going to help it blend in a lot more. Then you're going to just spray as much as needed. Don't do too much because it will begin to flake if you do. But you just want it to look seamless and as if everything is all put together. So now I'm going to use the back of my hot comb and this is optional. I just like to do this to make sure that it stays in place. Like I said, you do not have to do this. And if you choose to do this, this is why I say do not use a lot of hairspray because y'all already know that if you stick a hot comb or a hot iron, anything hot, when you put it on holding spray, it does turn white. So if you do not use a lot, you won't have to worry about it turning white. Now you're going to go ahead and section off the hair so that you can begin cutting in your layers. And I like to always separate my bang from everything else just so that I don't cut off too much. I'm going in at an angle 
because I want it to look, um, you know, give it a little tea bias type of thing on the side. But I'm going in at an angle because I want it to flow really, really nice. And I am using my razor. You can use whatever you like. You can use scissors, but the razor gives it a soft, feathery look. So now I'm going to begin curling the side and make sure that you separate it, section it off. Use thin, you know, do thin sections because you want to make sure that you get through all of this hair. Like I said, if you put in an entire pack of hair, you need to make sure that you're curling all of the hair. So just take your time, section it off. And you will need to use some type of serum, hairspray, oil sheen to flat iron it. You can use a thermal protectant if you like, but I just use the Design Essentials Diamond Oil Sheen for this, just because it kind of helps slick down the cuticles on the hair. I will be using my Kiss one and a half inch curling iron. And when you're doing this, do not put too much of a curl in it because it will begin to curl. Your goal is to give it a little bump so that it's, it's, it's nice and flowy where you can see the layers, but do not be, curl your curls too tight because it will curl and you'll see little um, fishtails, I call them. You'll see them on the end if you curl it too much. And if you use a smaller iron, it's going to curl, right? So you're going to use a bigger iron so that you don't have to worry about the hair curling up on you. It's going to just give it a slight bump and a feathery look. And this is your ultimate goal. You want it to look soft and you want your layers to come through. And again, if you comb through this, you will not have any flyaways from your invisible closure in the bag. So just comb it around. You can see the layers. It's very, very nice and flowy. So now I'm going to go in and add layers to my bang area. And like I said, it helps whenever you section this off and you don't want to start too high you're going to go down at an angle because if you cut it too high it, it'll look really really weird when you go in to um curl it so do it longer than what you would normally do so for instance if you want it to fall say at eye level cut it about one inch longer than what you would actually want because you want to give it room to when you when you curl it you want to have room to you can always go back and cut it but once that hair is off it's off so it's better to just have more hair than to not have enough and i left this section of the video in real time because i want you guys to see like i'm taking my time to cut these layers in because you don't want to put a gap in the hair so take your time and cut the layers in And now I'm going to begin feathering the bang. And again, I'm sectioning it off and I'm going to use my curling iron to do this. Like I said, the curling iron gives it a very soft and feathery feel. So all you're going to do is just feather it and even it up with the sides.
Now it's time for me to try it on. Pull the shower cap out of the unit. Like I said, I like to do it this way because it's easier whenever you're removing the wig from your mannequin head and it also protects your canvas block from getting any glue on it or sticking to it. And don't worry about the unit messing up whenever you are taking the shower cap out. Trust me, it's not going to mess up. And if it makes you feel better and you want to make sure that it's secure, you can put it underneath the dryer after you finish just to kind of make sure that it's all dry. I'm trying on the unit and like I said, if you measure correctly, the unit should fit on like a glove. As you can see, the unit is on nice and snug and it fits to my head. And if you did not know it, you would not know that this is a wig. It looks like I just literally got my hair done in a full quick weave, but it's a wig. It's nice and flat and it looks amazing. So now I'm going to be sharing with you the discount code. You will be able to enjoy $10 off any unit on my website. The coupon code is YouTube10. And again, I'm just... Thank you, you guys. This is my special thank you for tuning in and building the community, spreading the awareness. I'm always here for you guys. Leave all of your comments and your feedback in the, in the comment section. Thank you, guys.